I'm sorry, folks. I, I have no idea how that tape got in there. Uh, uh, play something. What the hell was that? Honey, that's what you have to do after a man takes you to a fancy dinner. N no, I mean, why was it shown? Well, I I'll tell you why. Because Roger's still clinging to the fantasy that this telethon was his idea. And now he's trying to ruin it. Steve? Haley, I need you to find him and stop him. I better get the security guard. I'm not searching that basement unless I'm accompanied by an armed stranger who failed the psychological test to become a cop. Here's the intro for the circus bear, Mr. Smith. Some acts are too hot. Some acts are too cold. This act is just right. Oh, like Goldilocks. Part of me thinks people will be confused because there's only one bear. Yeah! Irene Gross Bard, Irene Gross Bard, Irene mean it, Irene Gross Bard. Okay, that was Gretchen Gross Bard with a tribute to her sister Irene Gross Bard. Folks, we gotta do better than this. You know, the CIA has captured a lot of bomb makers. Well, it's time for you to set off the biggest bomb of all the one in your hearts. Aww. Let's keep the show going. Some acts are too hot. Some acts are too cold. This act is just right. Joke killer. He's a joke killer. Please welcome Boris the Russian Circus Bear. Something is wrong. Itty bitty brake line is cut. All part of the show, folks. Everything's fine. Music, Frodo. Music. Haley, what the hell happened? We were looking for Roger when somebody hit me on the head. When I woke up, Steve was gone. Wait, what would Roger want with Steve? What the hell? Do not fear me, fair maiden. Though my outward appearance may repulse thee, I assure you my intentions are most pure. What are you doing? The Phantom welcomes you to his home. Jeez, it stinks in here. Why am I in a dress? I'll thank you to hold your criticism, my darling. Ah, the hell with this. Steve, Steve, come back here. I am trying to do something! Ladies and gentlemen, the United States may be the greatest nation in the world, but do you know what the second greatest nation is? El Salvador! No, not Mexico. The second greatest nation is Doe Nation. Won't you all become citizens? Now let's go to a real good novelty today. Jeff Fisher and the Jeff Fisher Hacky Sack Attack. One, two, three. Woohoo! Thank you, Langley! What? You want more? All right. One, two. Really thought we were gearing up for a much more satisfying chase. But this... Roger, I'll kill you! I'm not Roger, I'm the Phantom! <gasps> Roger? Well, yeah, who did you... What? Well, anyway, you'll never stop me! <laughs> there you go again, stealing my idea. Well, until you tell the family this telethon was my idea, I've got havoc to wreak. Wreck? Wreak. It ends now. Ha! You can't stop the Phantom. These riggings and catwalks are my domain, and I am their master. All right, all right, I give up. But it doesn't matter. I've already destroyed this telethon. And untied your bow tie. No! You've given me a relaxed demeanor! Oh my god, is that a bomb? You planted a bomb? What the hell are you talking about? 
That's enough C4 to blow up this entire building. Disarm it. Stan, it's not mine. All I did was change the teleprompter, cut the bear's brakes, release the terrorist, drop a fishing boat on Jeff Fisher. Wait, you released the terrorist? He's an explosives expert. We'll never be able to disarm it. Oh, my God. Stan, I know exactly what to do. Put me down. Let's try that on the fart setting. <laughs> I don't know. It's funnier, but I think it takes out some of the tension. How could you release the snake? He's a master bomb maker. Me? I don't know about master. I make a nice bomb. All right, snake, the jig is up. Um, uh... Prepare to meet your mecca. Fine. Go ahead and kill me now. Once the ticking clock on your tote board counts down to zero, this whole building will be blown to smithereens. Good God, I've got to evacuate the building! Not so fast. I've rigged the exits. I've also rigged the elevator shaft, the air ducts, the little window in the bathroom. I've seen a lot of movies. When you're forbidden to drink, dance, or touch yourself, your afternoons are pretty free. You can't touch yourself? How do you... I'll give you the code to disarm the bomb, but first, you'll have to meet my demands. I don't negotiate with terrorists. Oh, really? Have you ever bought a mattress? Fine. What are your demands? I have something I want you to tell the world. Hello, I'm the United States. And I'm Israel. With you behind me, I can do whatever I want. Well, I want you. Take me. No, this is wrong. We both have the same father, Satan. I don't care. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, Judeo-Christian false god. All right, I did your little play, and it was intoxicating. If you have anything else I'd be right for, please keep me in mind. In the meantime, I need you to disarm the bomb. Oh, that? No, no, I was lying. I was never going to disarm the bomb. You bastard. You're mad at him for lying? You guys are enemies. Of course he lies to you. But you're worse. You stole my idea and lied about it to your own family. Oh, my God, you're right. Lying is wrong. I'd know that if only I'd paid attention to anything that's ever happened to me before. It's not too late to tell everyone the truth, Stan. Oh, what's the point? We're about to die. I don't want I'm a liar to be the last thing I say to them. It doesn't have to be the last thing. What if I save us all? Then will you tell them the truth? Roger. You saved my family, and I'd be honored to redeem your good name. Excuse me, does this have dairy in it? Because if you want to see a real dirty bomb, give me something with dairy in it. <laughs> no, no, no. Truth be told, no. what's the code to disarm the bomb? I'll never tell. Oh. No. Wait a minute. Okay. I think I know how to save hey. us and the CIA. Hey. Ladies and gentlemen, we've had a lot of fun tonight. But when that clock runs down, this building will explode. <gasps> yeah, you should be concerned. Because that's the only man who knows the code to disarm the bomb. And he's not talking. And he's not talking because we can't torture him. Sure, he can be beaten by amateurs like that oddly proportioned fellow in the cape. Uh, come on. But we're never going to get the answers that way. We need the money to fund official, unofficial CIA torture. We're counting on your generosity. Stan, it's working. The phones are ringing off the hook. That's it, folks. Give till it hurts. Him. We have the money. Quick, get the equipment. Hold this up. The code is one, two, three, four pound. The bomb is disarmed! <laughs> That's what I'm gonna say when I disarm the bomb. Roger! The arm is disbombed. Damn it. <laughs> Oh, now you can tell Francine and the kids I'm not a liar. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. Well, that's our show, folks. If you're interested in learning more about torture, follow an immigrant into your local police station. Good night!